take two on the new Cambrai equipment. What's up my YouTube family? Today I'm here with a super quick, quick, I guess you could call it a stir fry. It's just like a really quick like little recipe that I just made up. That's hot. We're going to turn that down. So I'm just starting with butter y'all. Okay, we starting with butter. This is real quick and simple. I probably can't turn it on. They're not going to be able to hear me if I turn it on. Okay, so we starting with butter. We got some asparagus and some onion. Already chopped up. Add that in there. I turned my fire down, y'all. My fire was like a tad bit too high. But everybody knows that brown butter is good butter. Okay, so I'm just going to break my onions up in here. Break my onions up in here real good. And we just going to give this a nice toss. This is just a bunch of asparagus and one small white onion. I'm going to turn my fire back up. Because it didn't cool down, so I turn my fire back up cameraman as you getting all up in there as you zoom give them some zoom in that chin there you go so they can see that goodness in there okay so we want to bring that fire back up to high this is just like I said a quick dish that I just created out of boredom and hungriness okay so we got our asparagus you know you don't want no limpy asparagus you want your asparagus to have a crunch on it don't cook all them nutrients out your asparagus okay so now let's go in with some minced garlic just a tad let's go in with some lemon pepper and y'all know I do not do measurements when I season my stuff. I just do it until the ancestors tell me to stop. Okay, then we go go in with some garlic vegetable seasoning. Garden, excuse me, garden vegetable grill made seasoning. My bad. I'm tired, y'all. It's getting late and tired. I'm also gonna go in with. I love these these roasted um, peppers that come in the jar these are so good so let me get me a spoon okay so I'm just gonna go in with like a spoon full of these not too much just like that oh just like that Okay, give it a nice stir. And you just want to let this saute, y'all, for probably like another, I'm probably going to let it saute for like another five minutes. I'm turning my fire like all the way up to screaming high right now. Because I want to cook a little bit of the uh, pan juice out. Okay. Let that stir. It smells amazing. Now at the end, I am going, it's optional. I mean, this is gonna be good just like this. It's real simple. If you wanna freak it, I'm blocking the light. If you wanna freak it, you can like add some um, like soy sauce, make you like a little like a little Asian persuasion sauce. You could um, ladle it over rice. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm definitely gonna add some shrimp. And I think I'm gonna add some potato. The potato is like a maybe for me, I don't know. But, what I'm about to go on with now, y'all, is some shrimp. Already nice, washed, and cleaned. See ya, brother. Bye, auntie. <laughs> okay. Alright, y'all, so give it a nice little toss. Real quick and simple. Real quick and simple, like I said, I just had diced a small white onion. I got um, a bag of large shrimp. I got a bunch of uh, asparagus. We got the bell peppers. We 
got some seasonings. And then, like I said, you could take this into like an Asian. You could take this like, make this like an Asian dish. You know, you could add you in some sesame oil. I'm not going to really do an Asian um, any Asian flavors tonight because what we're pairing this with is some delicious New York strip steaks that I already went ahead and prepared. And so I really don't want like an Asian flair, but it's something to think about. So we are just going to keep sauteing this up. You know, shrimp does not take long. What I'm going to do is taste one of these asparagus. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Well, let's add in a little bit more lemon pepper. Keep your seasoning simple when you're doing stir fry. Real simple. I'm just keeping it real simple. One seasoning. One or two seasonings is all you need. So I went back in with some lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all. Just saying bye to my brother and my nephew. And this is almost done, you guys. This is like literally almost done. And this is going to pair great. Soon as your shrimp turns pink, this, this stir fry, or whatever you want to call it, is done. It's real simple. Um, I just wanted to, like I said, tune in and um, just share this quick little easy. You know, I'm all about easy recipes, y'all. So, I just wanted to um, chime in with you guys and share a nice, quick, delicious recipe with you guys. Zoom in action on that. Delicious, amazing dish. And I think how I'm going to eat mine, y'all, I think I'm just going to take my steak and I'm just going to lay this right over the steak. Like, and just eat it just like that. I'm just going to pile it right on top of my steak. But this is done. Look how fast that was, y'all. That was like, what, five minutes? And like I said, you could probably toss in some... Um, like the little red uh, baby potatoes would be amazing in this also. Do it how you want. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you all so much. And I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. Peace.